I think also the interaction of chemicals in our environment in terms of personal care products, hair dye, hair color, mm -hmm. um, makeups, <laughs> perfume. Uh, if you got nothing else from this today but to avoid perfume, mm -hmm. avoid it like the plague. Perfume is not essential oils and flowers, it's purely chemicals. Now, potentially an organic something that's made with essential oils that Whole Foods carry, that's a different thing. But even these very expensive designer perfumes, they are not essential oils. They are all chemicals. And you look at them and there are hundreds of thousands of parts per billion. And um, it was amazing to me looking at that. You know, they've actually found um, and this was very scary for me for my children, but I also wondered, you know, what is this, you know, younger women having breast cancer? We certainly know there's a genetic base and everything like that. But they've actually done studies on uh, chemicals, fat-soluble chemicals in, in the bloodstream of young women and found that young women had the highest amounts because they use so many personal care products, mm -hmm. you know, uh, shaving stuff and creams and lotions and hair dye and hair straightener and this and all of these other things. We absorb stuff from the skin, you know you do. You know, anyone who's ever used any type of uh, hormone therapy at some point, patches and stuff, we know we absorb medication through the skin. We do with the personal care products as well. So if you took nothing out of this, I don't know what she was talking about. Don't use perfume, throw it out, gone, you know. Um, um, can you put it out of your clothes? I was going to say, I have a side note because I, I live by my perfumes, but as soon as I learned about the phthalates, right, the phthalates, the phthalates that are in, they're that estrogen are sensitizers. They are, and they're estrogen oh, mimickers. And yes. so what I do now is I'll get completely dressed and then spray it at clothing level and then walk through it. <laughs> <laughs> so it goes on my clothes, but not on my skin. And I spray it on your clothes before you get dressed. Wow. Mm -hmm. well, you wow. yeah. yeah, you may still absorb it through the skin. But again, you know, you have to pick and choose what are the things. <laughs> but maybe you could find something that, you know, was an organic-based essential oil. They just don't stay long, but no, you could reapply it. And there are you know? absolutely, there's even some mainstream perfumes that are now advertising themselves as, oh. uh, teach me the word, phthalate. Phthalate. Phthalate three. Phthalate free. Oh. And if you go on Sephora.com, not only can you choose if you're choosing body care or skin care, but there's actually a natural and organic tab. And yeah. if you click on there, you will find four, five, six mainstream cosmetic companies that will tell you they're paraben-free, mm -hmm. sulfate-free, sodium lauryl sulfate-free. Every, you know, it will tell you what they avoid. And um, and people may say that that doesn't matter, but I think it matters.